Hey everyone, it's Richard Metal Fan here, bringing you guys an old school album review considering the Seven Dust discography. And today we talk their sixth, seventh album entitled Hope and Sorrow, which was released in April of 2008. Now, this album, of course, follows up their uh, sixth album, Alpha. And f going from Alpha to Hope and Sorrow, it's kind of different. It feels like they, the band kind of made a whole 180 turn, whereas Alpha was heavy. I feel like this album, while it's still heavy, but I feel like it has more melody, like it's more present there than on Alpha, whereas Alpha is just super aggressive, piss off. Um, I feel like vocally on this album, Lejean Witherspoon has, is really great at the vocals. Um... The guitar work from John Connolly and Sonny Mayo, and sadly this was the last album with Sonny Mayo you know, on guitar before he was actually like kicked out of the band like right before the album dropped and they got Clint Lowry back in the band. Um, but I feel like Sonny and John's playing are pretty great. The bass from Vinny, I kind of wish was a little bit more audible. And drumming wise, I feel like Morgan Rose just steps up as well, as well as his like backup vocals when he does his scream stuff. So yeah, without further ado, let's dive into this album track by track. Now, opening things up is the song Inside, which I feel like it starts off with Morgan Rose, which I think, like I mentioned before, I feel like he's one of my favorite drummers and one of the most underrated drummers in metal and in music in general. You know, I feel like Lejean's vocals are really great. In fact, his like melodic touch brings the songs together there, and without it, it would, would be just a wasted album. But yeah. Yeah, great, good song to open up. Next song on here is called Enough. Enough, and I really like the chorus of this song, and I feel like Seven Dust has a knack for like, has great ways to open up their song. Um, then we move on to the next song on here, which is Hope, which is kind of like a ballad meets thrashy kind of like songs that kind of like, the the two kind of like, or work well together there. And this is actually has a guest appearance on here, here from especially a great shredtastic solo from Mark Tremonti, you know, formerly of Creed and Alter Bridge, and I think he's a great guitarist. Um, then we get to uh, Scapegoat, which I think is a, one of my favorite songs from Hope and Sorrow. I feel like the band sort of like, like I don't know, it's hard to describe. I feel like John and Sonny's riffing on here, is, and the song is really great. Um, they move on to fear, which sort of like right, drives right forward, right from the get go. And it leads to a catchy, G little chorus. And then the finally a payoff at the end was sort of like an epic kind of like bridge ending, especially like four minutes, 15 seconds into the song. Great song. Um, then we move on to the next song being the past, which features a guest appearance from a uh, Chris Daughtry who was on that fucking shitty ass show American Idol. But I feel like him singing along and it comes from a dark place and it brings mostly from this album and it comes like from lyrically from a place of despair and I could definitely feel the emotions and they brought it just beautifully and it just makes you want to just embrace it all. It's a great song. Um, then we move on to the next song on the album, which is called Prodigal Son, which I believe was the first single released from Hope and Sorrow, which I feel like it has a little bit of like a religious undertones to it. And I feel like you've just hit rock bottom and in there. It almost seems like it's just a player religiously. While it is an interesting and well done song, but I just feel like it's slightly less impressive than with Seven Dust's other work, which is, eh. Um, then we get into Lifeless, which I thought was a pretty pretty good song and I like it um then we get into sorrow which has another guest appearance you have three guests on one album which is kind of nuts and this time they have Miles Kennedy from Alter Bridge which I think he's a great singer but in sorrow but I feel like the song itself is pretty much standard seven dust song with some strike strings thrown in there but I feel like they've at least tried um then we move on to the next song on here which is called Contradiction Shit, which I think is probably the heaviest track on here, but lyrically, I just feel like it just doesn't work well with the music. <laughs> but it's a pretty decent song. Um, then we move on to the last song on the album, which is called Walk Away. And I feel like the guys are just some, delivered some really just groovy riffs, which kind of reminds me a little bit of bit, like Pantera a bit, and some insane double bass, and here and some vicious roars, roars which is a pretty good way to end this album. I'm just kind of surprised. So overall, Hope and Sorrow is a pretty solid album. But, but yeah, I feel like coming off of Alpha, I really wish they would have just gotten more 
continue with that direction, but yeah, it's a great, good album. So if I have to give this album a score, I'm going to give Hope and Sorrow by Seven Dust a 7.5 out of 10. So yeah, that's my review of the album, guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about the album, and I'll see you all in the next video. And as always, keep it metal.